one question which i'm getting a lot on the channel is about running large language models on gpu cards other than nvidia's one of the questions which i routinely get is how can people run large language model fine tuning and training on intel's gpu cards in this video i am going to show you how ibex llm is a tool which can enable you to run any hugging face transformers by torch model on intel's gpu cards it automatically optimizes and accelerates llm using low precision techniques and low precision means that instead of using floating point 32 it uses int 4 int 5 or int 8 also it uses modern hardware accelerations and latest software optimization hugging face transformer based application can run on ipex llm with one line code change and you will immediately observe significant speed up as per intel now in this video we will be seeing how you can do that we will be using exolotl which is a popular tool designed to streamline the fine tuning of various ai models so we'll be using this ipex llm with exolotl i don't have intel gpu but i will try my best to show you as how you can do qlora fine tuning or even training the full flown uh, training with the help of this ipex llm let me take you to my local vs code environment and I am going to show you how you can do that. So let me switch to my VS Code. There you go. So this is my VS Code editor. So let's suppose you have Intel GPU and you have a server where you are already logged in and you want to create uh, or train or fine tune a model. And that model is on Hugging Face. You can take any base model, by the way. First step which I would highly recommend you to do is to create a Conda environment. Conda or Mini Conda is a tool which enables you to create virtual environments on your system so that you will keep everything separate from your local installation. So first create Conda environment, activate that. Activate means that you step into that Conda environment. Once you are there, clone the Exolotl tool and then use this branch of Exolotl which supports IPEX LLM. And then from there install all the prerequisites once that's done this is where you install ipex llm with xpu with an intel extension and then you need to install this accelerate library which optimizes the speed from there because we will be using a custom data set you can use your own of course to install data set library and also of course the transformers library this is all there is to it you need to do for the prerequisites now, if you want to train a model, then use this command accelerate launch train.py. If you want to fine tune a model, then use accelerate launch fine tune.py. Then, this is a file which is a very standard QLORA file which you need to specify. So, for training, single command, for fine tuning, single command. Now, this is a file, QLORA file, where you specify your data set and your QLORA parameters let me show you that so this is a file now before i show you that just a quick lora stands for low rank adaptation it is a technique for fine tuning llms that involves adding low rank matrices to the model's weights to adapt to specific task or data set q lora or quantized lora is a variant of lora that uses quantization to reduce the precision of the model's weights and activations making it more efficient and scalable now, if you look at this one, here we are simply specifying which model to use. We are specifying Lama 3 8 billion, then we are taking its tokenizer, and then we are saying that okay, we are putting 8 bit false, 4 bit true. Now, this is a sort of precision which we are setting. So, and we are telling it to load the model in 4 bit precision here. And then we are saying strict is equal to false. What it means is that it relaxes strict model loading and that allows for potential mismatches which is fine now this is where you can specify your data set so in this one it's a 2k alpaca data set you can specify your own whatever you are using uh, you can even specify your local um, data set or you can get it from hugging face repo in this case it is hugging face and similarly you can even specify the path to your local model if you have it 
okay then we are setting well set uh, set size to zero which means that validation set is zero output directory this is where uh, fine tuning results or training results will be put we are uh, adapter is qlora which means that we are enabling qlora and then lora model directory is this is where lora model will go and then sequence length sets a maximum sequence length for input text and sample packing means that we are enab enabling the packing samples together pad to sequence is true which means that it pads input text to the maximum sequence length then we are setting the lora dimensionality to 32 with lora underscore r and lora is underscore l5 16 and then a lora dropout rate is 0 0.05 and then uh, we are also specifying target modules for LoRa. Then the LoRa target linear enables a linear layer as a target module. And then we are specifying the fan in fan out values for LoRa. And then if you want to do the logging and monitoring and instrumentation, you can put in your VanDB project and all that stuff. We are not using it at the moment. Let me scroll down here. This is what I mean. And then we are setting gradient accumulation steps to four that sets the number of gradient accumulation and then we are setting the micro batch size to two and we are only running it for four epochs so this is how many iterations uh, our process is going to make over the epoch and then we are setting the optimizer as paged at mw with 32 bit precision and then we are setting the learning rate scheduler as cosine learning rate is 0 0.002 and then we are disabling training on input also we are disabling grouping by length and then we are setting bf16 to auto and tf32 is also false which disable using tf32 for training here we have also enabled gradient checkpointing and then we are specifying the early stopping patients here uh, which we are not really using anything and then we are also not using resume from checkpoint you can set if you like for the local uh, rank we are we can specify the local rank for distributed training we have just uh, set the logging step to one and for x former attention you can specify the x, x former attention mechanism we're not using it but we are definitely using flash attention and then warm-up steps are 10 and then we are also setting evaluations per epoch to four and similarly we are setting few more parameters which are such as weight decay just zero and then towards the end we are just putting the pad token as end of text so this is a file where almost all of the values are default and all you need to do is to just change your data set here you can also replace the model whatever you want to use and wherever you want, want to put it you can set the type of data set so in practice all if you are using llama 38 billion and if you want to use your own data set just replace this one and then go back and run this command for training from the scratch or fine tuning your own data set so there is all there is to it for ipex doing it on linux gpu so i hope that this was useful I will drop these um, the link to these commands which you can also get from IPEX website. Try it out, let me know how you go. And if you have used both NVIDIA GPU cards and now you're using Intel GPU cards, let me know if you uh, see any difference in speed. That's it. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.